about to bring to the stage is one of Sydney's finest. Ladies and gentlemen, please clap your hands together. Hoot and holler. Welcome to the stage, Daniel Towns. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, I've got a girlfriend now. She really wants to spice things up in the bedroom, so now when I'm about to finish, I go, I'm cooming. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I know not everyone's going to like that joke going into it. I'm aware of that, but I know the people that like it will really like it, so <laughs> everyone else is just collateral damage. Um, I can top it too. Hey, open casket funerals, what's that? Remains to be seen. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, apparently pineapple juice makes cum taste better, but for me, it just ruins the pineapple juice. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, uh, I think cage fighting is barbaric. I support free range fighting. <laughs> uh, I don't, but uh, I remember when the supermarket used to be about getting as much for your money as possible, right? Uh, and now, w with animal welfare, it's, it's a moral journey. Uh, I grabbed some caged eggs the other day and my mate goes, oh man, you gotta get free range because it's better for the chickens. And it's like, how's it any better for the houses I'm chucking them at? Um, <laughs> I don't care, and there's no difference anyway. Like, look it up, you know the free range ones, they get their beaks cut off, right? They get castrated, and at the end of the road, they go to the same slaughterhouses and die exactly the same way. So the only difference is they get to run around a little bit before that happens. <laughs> is that an advantage? Do you think the chickens would run around if they knew they were going to die? <laughs> I wouldn't. Hey, mate, you're going to die in a month. What do you want to do? Uh, definitely not exercise. Um, <laughs> I'll be sitting on the couch thinking about my life and my beak. Um, <laughs> free range sounds good because it's got the word free in it and we all ignore the definition of the word range. The distance within which something can be reached. Like your tolerance for these chicken jokes is going to be within range. <laughs> very soon. Um, <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love how some people go, oh, you know, the animals have consciousness. They know what's happening. I if that's true, you could say free range is worse. Because those ones have the false belief they've got a decent life. <laughs> like, caged chickens would know things are shit, right? They're sitting there in a box going, I don't think this is going to get any better. <laughs> I can sense it. Free range, they're out in the field just totally oblivious. Oh, what a great day to be a beakless chicken. <laughs> And someone kills it. Uh, imagine thinking you were free and living a high life. And not only are you not free, you're going to die with no explanation. That's inhumane, right? <laughs> death row prisoners, they know they're on death row. They're not mixing with the general population and then a guard comes out. Oh, hey, Jono, come and check out this chair and head sponge combo. <laughs> yeah. And hey, the best art comes from oppression. Maybe the best eggs do too. Uh, <laughs> supermarkets expensive enough without paying for chickens to go to private school. <laughs> I'm not even going. Um, I guess everyone cares about animal welfare. I do. But uh, let me ask you this. How much am I allowed to care before I'm a hypocrite because of the way I live the rest of my life anyway? Right, like I've got a smartphone. I've got all this other tech that was built by people in China. Way worse conditions than the chickens. Like, surely the treatment of people is a little bit more important than animals that are being raised to die so we can survive. Chickens wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for us. They've got no defence mechanism, they can't fly away, and they taste fucking great, right? Like, <laughs> and if everything in nature has a purpose, how do you know a chicken's purpose isn't to be food? Look at everything you can get out of a chicken. Meat, eggs, twisties, um, <laughs> you know? Chicken soul. Where do you think chicken soul comes from, you know? The chicken runs around and gets all sweaty, the farmer towels it off, <laughs> brings it into a jar. Look, I know not everyone wants to think about where their food's coming from, I get that. And comedy subjective. Uh, someone came up to me after a gig and he's like, mate, too many puns, too many jokes about chicken. I said, well, compared to the rest of my stuff, it's a poultry amount. Um, <laughs> but you know what, I gotta keep doing these jokes whether people think they're funny or not, right? <laughs> when I was doing my research, I wanted to look in all the animals and I, I typed into Google free range pork. Well, I thought I did, but I accidentally typed in free range porn. Um, <laughs> Sounds funny, but for the split second I was on that screen, it looked like that was some kind of slang for child porn, right? I didn't go back to check. That's not something you want in your history more than an accidental once. I was like, get me the hell out of here. Uh, a couple of hours later, I got a phone call from a private number. Who calls from unknown numbers anymore? I was like, hello, Daniel speaking. Uh, click, they hung up on me. And I thought, oh shit, am I being watched now? Yeah, so I've got to keep doing these jokes because it's proof of what I was actually researching. <laughs> You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.
After the break, Justin Hamilton and Margaret Cho.